Hello everybody, this is Brian James Productions, and this is a Minecraft tutorial about how to download and install the Aether mod. Okay, so before we do anything, what we're going to want to do is go into a file, just like this, and come up here and type in percent app data percent. Okay, so now we see this Minecraft folder, so let's double click that, and let's take our saves folder, which for me has my world in it and we're going to just drag that right onto the desktop just like that and now we're going to go back and then we're just going to delete dot minecraft that's it that's how you do it okay now we're going to go to our minecraft exe that is on our desktop let's minimize this and so we're going to run it and log in which will come up um what's this what this is doing is this is giving us a brand new a brand new um folder a brand new dot minecraft folder that has nothing in it it's just a brand new minecraft and as you can see it's downloading it right here and that might take a couple moments and that'll give us a vanilla which means new uh, Minecraft folder that has no mods in it and that is very compatible with any other mods. So that's how you get a brand new Minecraft. So we're going to exit this and we are going to go back to our um, app data thingy. And if 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 typing in percent app data up here doesn't work, just go to here, search run, and then do percent app data. Oh wait, no! Oh shit! Balls. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, percent. Percent sign app data percent. And that works too. But I just think this is quicker. So let's go into our dot Minecraft folder. And let's delete this saves folder. Just like this. And drag our other saves folder into here. So that way this, this Minecraft has our world. Okay. So now we're going to want to go into our bin folder. Just like this. And go to Minecraft. And you'll need WinRAR for this, so we're going to right-click it, open with WinRAR iCarver. <coughs> and so we're going to minimize the screen. So now we have Minecraft.jar uh, open with WinRAR. So let's go into our, into our AetherMod folder. And what you will need is Shock RP R5, or whichever type it has, Mod Loader, Audio Mod, and the AetherMod that you have installed. Uh, the link to where you can get these is all in the description. Just go check there and they'll be there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is with this folder in the Minecraft jar, we're going to want to delete the meta-inf folder. That is like the thing. If you get black screens while doing this, that's what's causing it. So let's go to our mod loader folder. And we have all these class folders or all these class some documents. So just highlight every single one and just drag it straight into the Minecraft jar. And then click OK. And now we have installed the mod loader. And now it's the same thing with the audio mod. Just go into it, just highlight all this, and just drag it right into the Minecraft.jar, just like that. And now with the shock op R5, whatever, it's going to be a little bit different. So let's go into here. And we have all these three files. But we're, what we'll, we will we really want is the class folders inside the bin folder. So let's go, go into the bin folder when you open it, and just highlight all of these class folders and just drag them right over. Just like that. Congratulations. You are now 1% smarter than before. Okay, so now here comes the really tricky part. Go into the Aether mod, and now go into jar, just jar, and now we're going to want to scroll all the way down and highlight just all of these folders just like that and just drag them straight into here just like this okay now what we will want to do is go back and now and now this is where you need to follow along so pay attention now we're going to close our minecraft jar with winrar and we're going to go into our actual bin folder our dot minecraft folder our actual minecraft folder and we're going to go into resources just like this and we're going to want to go into resources here and what you're going to want to do is just drag this mod folder in 
And other people say to open it up and then create a new folder in here and then put all this in it, but I, I don't think it makes a difference because you'll just end up making a folder by putting this in here. So congratulations, you just installed the Aether mod. Okay, so now that you have this, let, let us test it and run Minecraft. And there are, uh, with this Aether mod, there are only certain other mods that actually, um, com compatib that are compatible with it. And I'll show you that. Um, a couple include the Too Many Items mod, um, some texture packs. So those are, uh, the Fly mod, Zom's mod pack, all of those really, I think, are the only ones. So as you can see, um, we do have the Aether mod. Sorry about that. As you can see, we do have the Aether mod installed, shown by these extra inventory slots. And that is how you install the Aether mod. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how to install other mods with the Aether mod. So what we're going to want to do is go back into our um, dot .minecraft folder. And this will be showing how to install the Too Many Items mod. Um, now we're going to want to go into bin, open dot .minecraft as WinRAR, and go into our folder. And as you can see, we have our Too Many Items mod, which we'll, I will sh put in the description where you can get. And we're just going to drag all these folders, all these class documents, into dot .minecraft. Okay, so... Thank you for watching. This has been a Minecraft tutorial, and I hope to see you again. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.